So I can't take this rumor. I can't take this rumor seriously. I can't take this information with any credibility because I feel like what the hell? I feel like it is possible, but at the exact same time, I'm like, why would this even be a thing that is focused on in this in this TV show in this new Dragon Ball anime? Because, I mean, if we're gonna be getting it, we deserve it. We deserve it in the main timeline, the Dragon Ball Super timeline. So this Vegeta rumor is just is completely out of out of any realm that I can believe in because of how badly I've been wanting this and the fact that they're putting it in something that is is uh yeah. Okay, so before I jump in, let me know if you if you know because I really don't know the answer, but if you do know the answer, how many forms does Vegeta and Goku have? Because looking at any fighting game, they're the ones that have literally the most amount of forms and transformations out of anybody on the roster, in any of the rosters. And they seem to just be getting more and more and more. Uh, uh, this is too much! Uh, 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 and this is something that is shown in Sparking Zero, in Fighters, it's just... It's just the common, it's just the norm. So when I heard today's rumor, I thought, okay, why would you do this in this show? And more importantly, why would you do it right now at all? So when we got the latest Dragon Ball Daima trailer, we got to see a lot more of Vegeta and Piccolo more than we thought that we would get, and I'm talking about as children. Vegeta's even fighting as a child at one point, meaning that it's not just Goku who is going to be going into the depths of hell to, or the demon realm to look for a way to transform himself back into an adult, but it's also going to be Vegeta facing off against somebody at some level. Well, the newest rumor that we got for Dragon Ball Diamond that comes out in a few weeks is that there is a huge possibility that we are going to be getting, wait for it, this bad boy right here. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. This guy right here. I've been waiting for Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta for for decades, I think, for decades. Since Dragon Ball, I've wanted Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. When we got the Majin Buu arc, I always thought it would be so cool to see Vegeta in that Super Saiyan 3 form because Goku got into that form. And then when Super came back, I was assuming we were going to be getting it. Now, look at this. Tell me that it doesn't look beautiful. Tell me that it doesn't look like it just fits so well. And this would be such a interesting way to bring Super Saiyan 3 back. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping because I'm thinking about this. If they brought it back for Daima and had Vegeta actually be in this transformation, but this is where to me, like what are they thinking? Because here's my huge issue with it. You're gonna bring back the legendary transformation of Super Saiyan 3. This legendary transformation that literally really hasn't gotten any love since Dragon Ball Z, I would say. Like, like a good amount of love. And you're gonna give it to Vegito, which is a transformation we wanted him to have for literal decades. But now when you're giving him the transformation, he's a baby. It just doesn't make any sense, like make it make sense. And the fact of the matter is that I really didn't think we we're gonna get any of the Super Saiyan forms at all in this. I assumed it was going to be all base, like base level. Although that wouldn't have made sense because Goten and Trunks were children and could go into Super Saiyan forms. It doesn't make any sense for Goku and Vegeta not to be able to do the same thing. But I assumed that's what it was going to be because the show was kind of reminiscent of Dragon Ball. But with that latest trailer, we got Super Saiyan transformations for Goku. So now that we got the Super Saiyan transformation for Goku and we got Super Saiyan 2 in, in that trailer as well. I mean, it doesn't seem so far-fetched for Goku even to be able to go into Super Saiyan 3, which his GT counterpart could also go into. So there is a huge level of, of 
believability with this rumor that's going around that there is going to be a Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in Dragon Ball Daima. But I wanted to put it one step further here because, because this actually got me thinking. This got me pondering a, a, a question about Dragon Ball Daima. And that is, what if, and hear me out, what if there is a new Saiyan transformation that we get from the Demon Realm? Wouldn't that be cool? Every single, every single Dragon Ball property that has come out has given us a brand new Saiyan form. Let's just go over the the canon ones. The ending of the the ending of the Tournament of Power, the ending of Dragon Ball Super, we get Ultra Instinct, right? And and a couple other ones, but Ultra Instinct is the biggest one. DBS Broly, we get Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which he couldn't go into that before. And that's, so that's a new transformation for him. Then, in Dragon Ball Super Hero, we get Beast Gohan. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, not including the manga, which again, you'd have to really like nitpick different transformations. In the anime versions of Dragon Ball Super, we get, or then Dragon Ball in general, we get each one having a new form. So if Dragon Ball Daima is the next iteration of a Dragon Ball anime, you would assume that we're going to be getting a brand new transformation from Dragon Ball Daima. And that got me thinking, who is the most deserving of this transformation? And I believe that it would be cool to give it to Vegeta. Now, we already have Vegeta having Ultra Ego, and that's part of the reason that I'm saying that he'd be perfect for some sort of demonic, uh, maybe amplification of his powers, a demonic transformation of some sort, because he's already going into that destruction mindset with Ultra Ego. So, if he already does that, I think it'd be pretty cool to give him some sort of demonic transformation, something from the demon realm that he uses to face off against the bad guys. I mean, we always give these transformations to Goku and have Goku save the day, have Goku be the one. And yes, this is supposed to be like Akira Toriyama's last work that he worked on and it's supposed to be somewhat of a love letter to Dragon Ball of old. But Vegeta has become kind of a main character since Dragon Ball has ended, the original Dragon Ball. So Vegeta, I do believe, is deserving of being in that top spot next to Goku. Not as a side character, but as a another protagonist, as another main character. I do believe that Vegeta is part of the cast as a main character. For him to get a new transformation in Dragon Ball Daima would be pretty sweet. I think it makes sense. And I think if you're gonna if you're gonna give it to anybody, give it to him. Goku's already got enough. But at the same time, if they're gonna show us like Vegeta just popping into Super Saiyan 3, like he knew it all along, and as a kid, he's just showing us that he can, because that's the level that they're fighting at. You know, they're not they don't need ultra anything, they don't need uh god key at all for anything in the underworld, in the demon realm, then that's perfectly fine as well. But I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I heard this rumor. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content. Oh,